Oh, fuck. Mr. Ness, can you open the door for me? Dude, don't ring the bell like that. I thought you were the murderer coming back. Mate, mate, you will not believe what I've seen. It was open. Why did you ring? I thought I should use the doorbell so I wouldn't startle you. Thanks. I didn't notice there was a doorbell. Says the man Milton had left in charge of an important investigation. <laughs> mate, can you do me a favor? I need you to open some doors for me. So, what can you tell me to restore my faith in you as a detective? Many things. What is that? Not a good start. It's a camera, so Alphonse can see all this. You know what a camera is, don't all you? Alright, follow me. Fucking hell. Baccarini had company for dinner. Someone from Vermont with the initials OB. Someone whose social status was a lot higher, but who was on the same side of the law. He served lasagna, and after clearing away the dishes, they opened a bottle of whiskey in the dining room. That was when the murderer burst in on them, coming through the window which he broke with his own body weight. Weird. Baccarini, or maybe his guest, pulled a gun, but it was a waste of time. The murderer was so fast, he was disarmed before he could fire. Weird. He focused his attention on Baccarini, totally ignoring the guest, and lifted him up into the air. He then threw him against the dining room table so hard that one of the glasses of whiskey was embedded in Baccarini's back. He span around, clawing at the table, and immediately afterwards the murderer ripped off his hands. I have no idea how he did it, but all the evidence suggests he just pulled. Blood sprayed everywhere. The wristwatch fell to the ground. He dragged him through the corridor into the hall. He tore down the lamp, hung him from the brackets, and stabbed steel rods through his body. He skewered him on the iron bars, possibly taken from the fence outside, and pulled out his teeth one by one. Finally, he scooped out his eyes with a teaspoon. Baccarini must have been dead when the murderer went to the bathroom with his hands and his teeth. There, he arranged them to make an altar, weaving the fingers together and placing the teeth inside. Next, he painted something on the wall in blood, a symbol which I don't recognize, but which could have some kind of ritualistic significance. When he'd finished his artwork, he left. I don't know what he did with the eyes. Probably kept them as a trophy if he's a serial killer. You're telling me that someone did all this on with a teaspoon? More or less. And you worked all this out on your own some, just by looking? Yeah. More or less. I don't know which of the two of you scares me more. Wait a second. What about the guest? Right. We need, yeah. Come with me. Give me a hand. I think he's too tall to be that guy. I think it's just a template that looks awkwardly like Milton. I'm hoping anyway. Come on, dude. Smash it in. Oh. Nothing. Turns out Mr. Untouchable isn't infallible. But you were close. Congratulations. This must be Baccarini's office. Let's take a quick look around. Yeah, all right. All yours. All yours. Okay, buddy. Uh. You're at a crime scene, and you sit down to read? Titus Andronicus. One of the actors on the Hindenburg lent it to me. They're performing it soon. You couldn't ask for more appropriate reading material. Murder, mutilation, torture. <laughs> Shakespeare's got it all. He has. Fucking King Lear's dark. We've lost the only lead we had to help us find Sophia Capone. You think Baccarini's murder could be related? Yeah, I do. Maybe. Maybe. It's hard to say. Well, the fact I know about the children cult thing, I think it probably is. Why'd you go to jail? For murder, but... You didn't do it, of course. Of course I did it. But I didn't intend to. Oh. Okay. Well, thanks, dude. Ah, what's this? Oh, okay. Uh. Whoop. Are those really two clues? That's astonishing. Whoops. Jesus. Oh. There's at least a million dollars here. Do you think they'd notice if it went missing? Mm-hmm. Baccarini's? I'd be surprised.
probably his guests, and I doubt it was to pay Baccarini for his services. None of his forgeries are worth that much. Oh. Well, maybe. Just don't know though, do you? What's this? Carlo, I have the goods for OB, but I have to take the children to school tomorrow and I can't make the meetup. Friday, same time, same place. It's signed and I. Mm-hmm. These initials are getting to be a pain in the ass, right? No bit. I have to take the kids to school tomorrow. I don't think this is some loving divorced daddy, Milton. Ah, I take back what I just said. Right, what else? What's this? Is this forgeries? The driver's license of one John Martinson and Osmond Burke. OB. Osmond Burke? Hmm. Do we know him? The eldest son of the richest family in Vermont. Convicted rapist. Yeah. He was arrested thanks to the testimony of his father who wound up disinheriting him. He escaped from prison last week. He broke into the family home and slit the throats of all his relatives one by one. Opened the safe and got away with a fortune. That must be the, the money. Yeah, they don't make jails like they used to. <laughs> all starting to add up, isn't it? Whoa, fuck! Uh, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. No. Fucking hell. Milton, can you do something, please? Fine. Well, thanks for your help. Ooh. Come on. Come on, fuck him up. Oh, hello. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Backhand him. Right, mate. You're not very good at this, are you? Ooh. Mate, don't... Oh, why did you put him there? Fucking hell. Don't fight him near the knife. Jesus. Nice headbutt. Oh, thank God that's over. Get out of my way, I said! He's coming back! Who's coming back? Who's coming back? Him! The monster! Which monster? The guy who killed Baccarini? Hey, he was a monster! Oh, get their hands off me, Negro! Dude. What was he like? Describe him for me. I, he was a monster. Red and black. I mean, his head reached the ceiling. He, he tore off his hands with his claws! It was a monster! A monster! Should I hit him again? No, I think he's... Uh, no. Burke, shut up. You're Osmond Burke, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Good. Now pay attention, Burke, because I have a question for you. Uh, note. Who wrote this note? Uh, Nikolai Ivankov. Rings a bell. One of Capone's right-hand men 20 years ago. What does this stuff about kids mean? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Calm down, Burke. You were going to meet up with him, right? Yes. Uh, at the docks. Uh, uh, birth 42. Right, right next to where, um, where, where the uh, Allig Alligator 3 is moored. So what's the meet-up time? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. At, uh, uh, tomorrow. 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 Tomorrow at noon. Tomorrow at tomorrow. noon. Okay. Tomorrow. tomorrow? No. It's going to be tonight. Oh. What? Pretty sure you can't just do that. I'm pretty sure he'll smell around and not turn up, but Don't fine. Don't get too comfortable. We'll be there in no time. Uh, police. The cops in Santa Esperanza aren't as straight as the cops in Vermont. Even so, I think they'll be delighted to see you at the station. I'm afraid not, Mr. Ness. Oh, come I on! I have to take him to Alphonse. Dude, he's a rapist. Out of the question. I know his temper. He'll beat him to a pulp. Listen. If the missing girl was your granddaughter, you wouldn't forgive me if I didn't let you see the only suspect who could lead us to her. Fine. Okay. But he's a rapist, he should go to jail. <laughs> ah, shucks. What? I thought that bloodbath would cover up the smell of stale grease. I was wrong. At nightfall, are oh, we going to meet with the person? 
So yeah, I, I think obviously we've seen the dude, the massive dude with the horns, so we know that he's probably telling the truth and he's not gone mad, but they think that Burke's mad. Elliot? Ah, oh, Delphine. Oh, thank God you're here. The lights were off, so I thought that... Who's this? Is this our wife? Uh, I'm sorry. I got out of the hospital late, then I went to the station to pick up Jim's check, and when they told me... Oh. I... I'm scared. Of what? What are you drinking? Uh... Juice. I'm gonna stay on the straight and narrow. It's only juice. Juice and nothing else. Breathe on me. <sighs> you heard me. <sighs> I'm sorry. It, it hasn't been a good day. What's happened? No! You knew! Knew about what? What's that gun doing there? Uh... Uh... Half-truth. A guy I know is having trouble with a two-bit mafioso. He asked me to go with him, just in case. I didn't have to get it out. Well, don't. Don't start taking on the Mafia. Not now. You really don't know? No. No, I don't know. And if you keep up the guessing games, I'll never know. He's back. Who? Him. I don't know why it still surprises me, but it's incredible that you were such a good detective, and yet you've never been able to understand people. Capone got out of jail. Oh, yeah, I know. Where do you hear that? Chief Jenkins. Chief Jenkins? The same guy who said he was going to clean up Santa Esperanza, right? In that case, you can rest assured Capone just put on his striped pajamas and in four minutes' time, he'll be snoring in his cell. Elliot, what if it's true? If he's out, what's the first thing he's going to do? Who does he hate more than anyone? Uh... Old age. I think it's, it's a fair statement. Uh, oh, I suppose the jury, yeah. If it's true he got free, which I doubt, the first people he'll want to take out are the ones who put him in jail, the members of the jury. And if my memory serves, there were a lot of them. It'll take him a long time to get to me. Please, Elliot, don't joke. You're the only part of Jim's life that I have left. If you put yourself in danger, I... All right, Delphine. Uh, shoulder. Not knee. Knee's a bit too, um... Oh. I'm fine. Thanks. Oh, I see. Okay. I was trying to be supportive. Uh... My hand? I burnt it cooking. Fried eggs are the devil's work. What's going on, Elliot? Oh, hello. Uh... We're closed. No, it's fine. Can you wait outside for a couple of minutes, Milton? Sure. Of course. Uh, although, I'm sorry to say, but we're short on time. Mm. Elliot. Okay. Thank um. you, Milton. Uh, Delphine. Shit. I said a couple of minutes, Milton. Sorry, Milton. It's all right. Goodbye, Elliot. You can use that couple of minutes to teach this gentleman some manners. Oh, girl. Uh, no, 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 no. And it's none of your business. Sorry to butt in. I've brought your rapist costume for the party. Oh, what? Why do I have to be the... Oh, I suppose Milton is huge. He's just too muscly. No, she's the wife of a friend who died in the line of duty. Jim Dockers. Mm. Alphonse told me about him. Your Alphonse killed him. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Ness. Although he's not the same man he was. Anyway, isn't a deal with marriage until death do us part? It's not that simple. There are other factors. Friendship? Loyalty? Aren't loyalty and friendship sometimes the same? I don't know. Dockers was my best friend. I couldn't do that to him. Not even now he's dead. Right. So you like her, but you don't have the nerve. Oh. Oh, yeah? What would you do? Women have never been one of my priorities. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> you screwed Alphonse good, didn't you? I don't think he holds it against me this far down the line. 
He's a new man now, right? Did you enjoy it? Uh, no, it was duty, mate. I'm a cop. Correction, I was a cop. You do the job you're given. End of story. I hear you. But you didn't finish the next job they gave you. Did they find those kids? No. How do I look? Like the invisible man in the movie. <laughs> no one's gonna buy it. Take it easy. Everything's going to work out fine. You look like a tool. In fact, you look like, um, Hush. Isn't it Hush in Batman before he takes his thing off? But you look like a tool. Right. Let's do this. Them. So, everything's gonna work out fine, huh? You sure it's here? I guess. Relax. It's just a little further. Just follow me. Alright, let's go. This plan is suicidal. We're gonna die. Probably. But I don't have anything better to do tonight. And the lady at the diner? I told you, Milton. I can't get involved. The question isn't whether you can. It's whether she wants you to, my friend. Milton, if you go on contradicting me, you're not going to get into your role. Don't forget, while we're here, you're supposed to be at my beck and call. <laughs> while we're here. Yeah. Hear that? Not bad. <laughs> A white boy who likes the blues. What's next? You gonna let the black man vote? <laughs> <laughs> Milton just like wobbled a little bit there. That was a bit strange. Oh, not that way. This way, then. Here, here, here. Yeah, because, of course, this this was the point at which, like, still, again, if you don't know anything about history, this is the point at which you know, the black man could not vote, to quote that man, and um, Rosa Parks hadn't happened and all of that stuff. You know, she, she didn't refuse to give her seat up on the bus to a white person, and uh, we hadn't got Martin Luther King and any of that at all. Martin Luther King's junior, sorry, not Martin Luther King. Um, so yeah, it's a very different time. Hey you, where do you think you're going? Through here. I'm here to see your boss, so do your job. What did you just say, you freak? Well, we tried being polite. Kick him in the balls, honey. It'd be my pleasure. Uh, sweetie chops. Dakota. Yeah, my pleasure, Miss Dakota. Come on, dude. Listen, friend, I've had to freeze my ass off on guard duty myself. Let me and my man pass, and you can carry on warming yourself up. The other option is for us to warm him up ourselves, Mr. Burke. Ah, you got one of those uppity Negroes, I see. Dude. If he's like that with me, think what he'd do with you. What the fuck? Who the hell do you think you are? Yeah, don't waggle your finger at me. I'm Osmond Burke, and I have an appointment with your boss. You're Burke? Why didn't you say so before? Come on in. I shouldn't have to. Shit, Lord. Thanks. Have fun with Miss Dakota. Ugh. So, I'm assuming by the name we're dealing with Russian Mafia now? Different kettle of fish. We'll find out though, I guess. What's this? Whoa, what is that thing? You really want to know? Better off not asking. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Sounds angry, whatever it is. Is this dock? Right, okay, so I guess we're going up here. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Thank God I didn't have to walk down that bridge. It did it for me. It's supposed to be here. Where's the ship? 
Looking for someone? Yeah. We arranged to meet Nikolai Ivankov at Berth 42, but it looks like the ship isn't moored here. Has she set sail? <laughs> it isn't moored? <laughs> Maybe she sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, fuck, it's a sub. Dudes. This game's getting weirder, but also cooler. The Russians have got a fucking submarine. They want to have a meet on that. Fuck. game is again three pounds for this episode three pounds three pounds they get submarine quite happy about that so I assume he's probably one of the heads of the Russian mafia in the US I don't know Oh, God. Aliens. But, yeah. That's quite cool. Oh, dude. I got, like, two achievements there and one. I don't know what either of them do. Oh, so the little girl is her. That's fucking creepy. We punish children who behave badly, don't you? <laughs> Yesterday, it was Juliet who behaved badly. Do you remember? Uh-huh. She hit Junior so she would finish ahead of him in the morning race. Do you know what we did to her? Mm -mm. You fucked her up? Don't worry. You'll find out soon enough. Which do you prefer? The doll? Or the plush toy. Uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, to, uh, eat the, uh, bear. Oh, God. This is creepy as fuck. Two days ago, Mickey bit Tom so he could take his food. Do you know what we did with him? Bruno says you killed him. Bruno says many things. Which do you prefer, blonde hair or brown? Oh, uh, uh, brown? Oh, there's more. Hold up. And today, you tried to escape. Do you know what the difference is? Uh, no. Uh yeah. Juliet and Mickey hurt their friends so that we would not punish them. You tried to escape, but you did not harm your friends. Right. You even tried to help Bruno, although in the end you chose, very wisely, to save yourself. Oh? We are going to punish you. <laughs> but in a different way than Juliet and Mickey. Oh, oh, oh no. Bruno, on the other hand, did something very similar to them. Oh no. He betrayed you to avoid being punished. I'm sorry. Bye, Bruno. Which of these two drawings do you like best? I, I, I prefer the right one, I think. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, oh no, no, no. Whoops, sorry, Bruno. So there we go guys that has been blues and bullets i hope you have enjoyed it i am pleasantly surprised with this i really am um so yeah i hope you guys want to see more if you do want to see more let me know in the video comments below or dropping a like on the video and then when the next part comes out whenever that is i will try and cover it if it doesn't clash with anything which hopefully it won't but i will keep my eye on it so thank you very much guys for watching this has been blues and bullets and i will see you next time goodbye